Okay, here's a list of all my scores. There are 19 kids in class. All 19 of them dropped the rulers, and those are all of their times, or actually that's a percent. So they caught it at 0 0.4, 0 0.5 of the total length of the ruler. I take those 19 scores, I add them all up, and it works out to be 10.1. I take that 10.1, and I divide it by the number of kids, 19, and that gives me my average score, which is 0 0.52. So on average, it's 0 0.52. The notation for average is x bar. x bar, all that means is average or mean. And besides being the average or mean, the notation for x bar average is the sum of all the x values, the Greek letter sigma, divided by the number of values. But it's not that hard. You just add them all up, divide by the number of values, and that's average. The next stat we're going to look at is called median. And the median is the middle value. So I've taken all of these numbers here, and I put them down in order. So the smallest is up here, 0.2 to the largest 0.8. There are a total of 19 values, so I count down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That tenth value will be my median. So that tenth value will have nine values above it, nine values below it, so my median is 0.5. So we have an average, x bar is average, a 0.52, a median, is the one that's in the middle, our median is 0.5, and our third stat is called mode. The mode is the one that appears most frequently. So as I look at this list here, I see the mode, I have one, two, three, four, five fives, so my mode is five. I have three fours, two threes, three sixes, so the one that appears most frequently is the value 0.5, because I have five of them. So mean, median, mode, set of data. That's the first part of the stats. The other thing I was going to point out too is I can also create what's called a frequency distribution. Let me cover this up here. A frequency distribution is a table of the values that I could get, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and then how often they occurred. So x is the value, y is how often they occurred, and the check is I want to add up those frequencies, it should equal 19, and it does. So this is a frequency distribution. And the last thing I'll go over is creating a histogram from that frequency distribution. Okay, so a histogram is a graph. My y-axis is how often they occur. My x-axis is the actual value. So I could have got a 0.2, a 0.3. 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, or 0.8. And if I look at how often they occurred here, my frequency, I have 1, 0.2, I have 2, 0.3s, 0.4, I have 3 of those, I have 3, 0.4s, I have 5, 0.5s, which I know is the most because it was my mode. Down to point sixes, I have three point sixes. I have three point sevens. I have two point eights. And that's my histogram. And kind of how this all plays into it is if this histogram starts to approach a bell curve, it's considered to be normally distributed. Um, and then a whole branch of statistics goes from there. So the first three stats again are me median mode, and then once you do that, frequency distribution right here, calculating the mean, the median, and the mode.